What's up everybody and welcome back to our Trans Ocean the Shipping Company Let's Play campaign series. So I've been playing a lot off camera and as you can tell I racked up some serious cash. 37 million euros. And uh, so you know what we were thinking like why not buy a ship right? You know we need to get that Panamax ship at 35. We got this one at 62. You know, so I want to get, get get obviously a Panamax ship. We want the big kahuna, right? And so that's what we're looking towards. But then I was kind of playing around, like trying to figure things out. We're going to go to the world map. I got the the Alabama here doing its thing. We got the the Merc sitting in Ambar Lee right now. I don't think I have any company con. Oh, I do. I take that back. I do have a company contract here. We have to get from Rejavec to Gaio Toro. And I think that's... Not where the Alabama's headed though. Maybe he's going to Dublin, and then Dublin to Reykjavik. Maybe that's what I'm trying. What I was planning on doing. Whoops! I didn't want to do that, and I did it again. All right, and so that's what we've been kind of working on, just getting a lot, a lot of money. But then I was like trying to figure out, right? We got to become a tyc We got to become a tycoon. We got to buy a Panamax ship. Like I'm like, all right, why am I not becoming more than world famous, right? You know, or ranking up or whatever. But then I'm sitting here and I'm looking, right? It tells us to get to the next rank right in here what we need to do. So all this time we've been playing and playing and playing. And I didn't even know what I was doing. But I figured it out. We need to rank up. And to do that we have to have two ships. We're sailing to 17 ports. I don't know... Like, what that is, what that means, do we got to sail to 17? I don't even think there's 17 ports right in here. But whatever. We, uh, we don't need any capital, we don't need any company contracts. And we need two subsidiaries, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get two subsidiaries, and we're going to get the next rank, and let's see what's going to happen. And I have no idea what's going to happen. So the first uh, subsidiary that we're going to have, though, is in Lisbon here. It's about a million dollars. So boom, we established it. And now we have the wharf available to us for ships. So now we can see what's going on in here. And you can tell we got a lot more ships to kind of choose from. You know, we've got two two of these guys. I don't know why. Oh, because one's in Hamburg, one's in Lisbon. So you can see all that stuff here. And you can actually see the low range one here. Um, gets us 17 days, 15 knots is its max speed, but it can haul 5,000 tons versus 4,000. And so you can just see all that stuff available. And uh, we got the post Panamax ship, which we want, right? We want that. We want that guy. That's what we're hoping to get. So that's what we're trying to do. We need to figure out where we're going to establish another subsidiary, though. Um, but uh, we're actually going to go here to Amberlini. And uh, let's get the uh, Ambarli Lamani. Ambarli. Ambarli Lamani. I call it Ambarlini. So, <laughs> it is what it is. It, well, who cares? So, we need to get to Gaio. Uh, we don't need to go to Gaio Toro, but we could. We need to get to Rejavik. Looks like Rotterdam's a good place for us as well. Uh, Rotterdam's kind of way up there, though. I don't know. We could go to Gaio Toro and a couple hundred thousand. We could try taking some counterfeit goods, but I'm not going to risk it here. We'll accept that. We'll go to Gaio Toro. We'll fuel up here. And, uh, whoops, we don't want, we don't want to repair. We actually are going to repair, though. And we're only going to fuel up to there. That should hopefully be enough. And, uh, obviously it is. And I have been using the automatic tug getting us around. We have to get there in four days. And we can do it at half power, which will save us some fuel, which we want to do because it is very expensive traveling around in this region on on gas or for fuel. So where's the other port that we're going to get, right? I was thinking maybe we could establish a, a, maybe something in Port Said. We already got Hamburg up here. And you know, if we got Lisbon here, Port Said would probably, or Port Said. I, that'd be weird if it's called Port Said. Maybe it is. Maybe that's where we'll establish the other subsidiary. And uh, I'm not really sure if it becomes a thing. We don't really want questionable goods, though. But becoming out of this area 
it, it is an issue. But they do have machinery, which is one of the things that we lacked. Whoops, last uh, when we did our last company contract there. They have electronics and Amber Lee and alcohol. I mean, we're just going to go around checking what these ports have to offer real quick, I think. I think, ooh, I think this is where we want it. They have a lot to offer. They got machinery, they got chemicals, medicines, luxury goods, metal, furniture. I think that's where we're going to do it. Gaio Toro is going to be our other port. This will give us a, Lisbon is kind of like we're coming in, all our, all our stuff. So it's kind of giving us a front for all these ships coming in this way. Hamburg's kind of like taking care of the European area, right? And I think Gaio Toro here will kind of take care of this region down here. Let's dock the, uh, the Alabama. As you can see we're hauling some medicines. The other thing I've kind of figured out too, even though we don't have refrigeration, we can carry medicines just because we don't have um, padding inside. We can carry like luxury goods. So it's just very interesting. Let's see what we got here. We've got to get to Dublin. And so let's see what will give us the most amount of money. See, we can't take chemicals because the refrigeration system is missing, right? Um... We're actually going to take the ore, I think. Actually, we're going to take them both. We can't take them both. Hmm. We're not going to take the ore, though, because, right, 631,000, but because of it being, ex like, it needs to get there in so many days, it also gives us help with our, uh, our reputation and stuff. So, it actually is more valuable than that extra 10,000, anyhow, that we need. And see the machinery, freight insulation machine, but we can still take it. So, I'm not really sure what that's all about. And there's nothing to Reykjavik, which is kind of disappointing. So I'm hoping there's something there in Dublin for when we get over there. So we're going to go here to Gaio Toro, and we're going to a state... 50! 50 million euros? Whoa! Never mind, we are not, not doing it there. Let's check out what's 50 million euros in parts I eat. Uh, what about Dublin? Only a million, Wow! Okay, so we are not <laughs> we are not establishing the subsidiary around here. That's crazy. Holy cow, what about in Reykjavik? Um They really don't have much to offer in Reykjavik, and I think that's probably part of the reason why it doesn't cost so much. But fifty million I don't just can't justify it. If there's another port that gave us we're really looking for furniture is really what I'd like to get and Port Said just happens to be the place. We could do it in Rotterdam. I think we'll just do St. Petersburg. It's way out there. Man, I really would love to have had. We could do Algiers. But they got questionable goods, counterfeit goods. There's too much, too much stuff that's just a pain that I just don't want to deal with. Um, Man, but $50 million in Valencia as well. It's got to be something in this region. I think probably just the higher cost. Let's stack the Merce. Let's get it in there. And yeah, you know, it wasn't that good of a of a trip for us with this guy, but what else was I gonna do? She had to, she had to go. Um We could just go to Lisbon here. Be a decent decent load. Uh we'll get enough gas just to uh just to get us there, that should be enough to just get us there. Let's take a look, and it actually is not. Uh, what about at very slow? It would take 14 days to get there. Oh man, that just ain't worth it. Just not worth it. We'll give it a little bit more gas here. Um, and cast off. Yeah. All right, so we are going to establish our other port. I guess we could do Felix Stowe. 50 million euros, holy cow. Unbelievable. Alright, so maybe Reykjavik will give us then a subsidiary or way up there. And it's... Oh, we have not unlocked it. Why... Why haven't we unlocked it? That's interesting. Hmm. How did we not get that unlocked? We don't have any subsidiaries remaining. What does that even mean? Hmm. That is very interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, with Tug Assistance. So that was nice. We are world famous. Like, 
We get we get luxury contracts. Our reputations are respected. Like we're making money. Like I just don't loans taken. We have one loan taken out. That's interesting. I thought I paid that off. Loans. Yeah. Our line of credit. And that must be considered a loan. That's interesting. They must consider that a uh, a loan. We need to buy a Panamax ship. So I think that's what's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna try and then. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna try and work up to 50 million euros, and then we'll buy a Panamax ship. And hopefully that'll give us then what we need. Um, we need to get this guy up to Reykjavik though, and there ain't nothing up here. Um, how many days do we got for that company contract? We got 86 days yet. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave you in port. Increase to 80%. And uh, we're actually going to get the Mersk in port too. The Mersk really needs it. So. We got new contracts available. Let's check see if there's anything to Reykjavik. And there is nothing. So whatever. We'll just keep it there. And the Mer Alabama is seaworthy. The Mersk is ready to dock. And see that was good. So let's go to the port here, 68% reliability. And we're going to keep it there with that. We can get up to 80% almost in three days, so we're going to do it. Um, I don't know about fuel, we'll just let it sit there. And I'll figure out what we're going to do with him at that time. And we need to go back up to Dublin, check the contracts. And there's still nothing to Reykjavik. And so we're just going to have to just ship it up there. Actually, let's see if there's anything to Felix Stowe. If there's anything to Felix Stowe, then uh, there's stuff to Hamburg, though. Maybe, I mean, it's not a terrible load. It's not a great load. We'll take that. Let's cast it off to Hamburg. And then let's... And then from there, we'll figure out what's going on. Well, there's something I was going to do, though, real fast. I just just thought of it, though. Oh, company contracts. I want to see if there's anything here. See, we can go from Aunt Reykjavik to Amber Lee, or Amber Lee Lemani. Let's take that, because we're heading down to that region anyhow. And it's only 490 tons, so I can deal with that. Um, what else do we have here that we could probably take? Um, I mean, they're just so high tonnage. I, that's why, I mean... The Alabama gets just under a thousand, and then the Mersk is like five, four hundred, maybe three hundred. So there's just nothing there. We got new contracts available, and the Mersk is ready to rock and roll. So let's check out the Mersk. And there's nothing to Reykjavik, which is God, man, it's really bothering me. Well, we can have him go up to Felix Stowe though. So let's have him do that. And then, but as you can, oh, 180 tons. Yeah, so not even three, 400. So, really disappointed. We should have fueled up before um, when it was, when the prices were three in the 350s, but we did not. Man, look at that. Man, that's just terrible. That's just terrible. Let's get them out of here, though. Get these ships out of here. Uh for an exclusive company contract. So this is why we need the the big Panamax ship right soon. Because we have we'd have one month to deliver fourteen thousand tons. You ain't gonna get fourteen thousand tons between well maybe you would between Hamburg and Felix Stowe. You probably would with the Panamax ship. But we don't have one. We ain't gonna do it with what we got. So I'm gonna have to cancel that one. I apologize. Yeah I know that was terrible. Let's go to the port. We're in Hamburg. We need to get up to Man, we're just not getting anywhere. We've got time, though, so that's why I'm not too, too concerned about getting back up to Reykjavik. And I just don't know why we can't get there. We could go back to Dublin, so we'll take this back to Dublin. Get out of here. Get us to Dublin. We'll cast off. We'll just kind of keep making little rounds like this. Let's dock the Mersk. And we just made some money there and Felix Stowe, let's check out what they've got to offer us. And they can go up to, to Reykjavik. So, we're going to take what they have to offer. It's going to be very lucrative for us here. And we'll cast this guy out of here. And we're going to get him up there at full power. So remember, we've got two... 
two kind of different loads that we're going to have to be dealing with here. And still nothing. We're going to take this load here of foodstuff uh, to, to Felix Stowe. I mean, we're not really wasting any gas because we're not having to buy gas. All right, the Mursk is ready to dock a docker. I know we're not checking out these, all these ports, um, but we've pretty much checked them all out. Now we're just trying to get ourselves some money, and then that way we can get those 50 million euros. And then, then we'll buy a Panamax ship. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's get into the port. Let's check out our contract list. we got two of them. Uh, we got one for World Parcel Delivery, and we got one for the Glotchkin Lux Gutter. That's what we're going to call it. And uh, so we're just going to move. What do we have left? We have 839 tons remaining here to move. Oh, wait, no. We moved 839 tons, so we have about... I think what we're going to do is see if the Merce can handle finish this contract, and then once we get the Alabama to deal with the that one up there so actually the Alabama could do them both man I, god we got to get the Alabama up here so we're not gonna nah, we're not moving this guy to no not at all we're not going to Amberlini I'm sorry it's just not happening you can go to Rotterdam I'll, I'll accept that look at that that's a big load for you 1.3 million Woo. I like that. Let's fully fuel you up. Let's get you out of here. Get you to Rotterdam. Cast off. I think I was at half power, which was not good. Doc. Oh, we lost. Oh, tug charges. Yeah. Actually, though, if we check out our financials. So, in January, we made four and a half million. In December, which was a big month when I was off camera, I was racking up some cash. You know, you'll get here. You know. October we lost because I paid back the loan. I started paying the loan payment, so I wanted to get that off the books. So that's why we lost money in October. But November you'll get 10 million euros. December 12 million euros. January we were down four and a half. But February here we're already up five mil, five point one million. So we are doing really really good for what I would consider. And we need to get to Reykjavik. Why don't we have anything? Screw it. We're just taking the dang thing to Reykjavik because I'm tired of tired of all this holy cow you don't have that oh boy oh boy you can get up there now alright alright get out of here Ooh, Felix Stowe is definitely definitely not good alright look at that Let's see that was good I like that 1.3 I would kind of want to sell this this feeder I want to get a different one I think a bigger one this one just doesn't this doesn't cut it uh, the Alabama actually has a license to carry the, uh, radioactive material. Oh, you could take electronics to Reykjavik. Why can he get loads to Reykjavik, but the Alabama can't? That's just ridiculous. Go back up to Reykjavik. He's going at full power, though. Interesting. He'll probably get there before the Alabama. Oh, no. The Alabama was going in at, a uh, very slow speed. But let's get these guys taken care of. We only need, I'm telling you, we only need like this going. Actually, we don't even need that. We could probably get there with this guy. Take that off. And then we need world parcels to uh, Ambarui. So we'll take that and, oh, that's all you can take. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I was not thinking about that at all, was I? Let's not take so much uh, of you. Because we only need, what, like 190 maybe? Let's let's check this out. So let's do some math here. We're going to have to do some math real fast. So pull out my trusty calculator here. We'll take 1,110 minus our 839. We only have to move 171 tons of, uh, of that. So that's all we're gonna grab then. So if we only need 170, that 190 will do us, and then that'll give us enough to grab you. And actually, what if we grab? Can we grab you and you? Awesome. That's what I want. So we're gonna head to Glio Toro here with the Alabama. Let's fully fuel her up. 
And uh, let's get her out of here. Gaio Toro is our first port of call. And you can get there on a full load. I like that at half power, though. It's going to take 19 days. I'm not worried about it. No, we could get there on a full tank as well in 16. Let's, so let's do it. Let's go. I did make a lot of improvements to the Alabama. Uh, as well with the hull and some engine efficiency type stuff. So that's also helping there. That's a good amount, Rejevic. You are good. I like you. Um, we could go to Gaio Toro with this stuff. I just don't... I mean, we let's take it just to be on the safe side. But I don't think it's obviously needed. But we'll take it anyhow. And uh, let's fully fuel you up as well. Gas prices are not super cheap at the moment, but they're not terrible. And we'll get him out of here. So with both of these guys going, we're going to finish up some company contract. Look at them go. They're racing. They're racing. They're probably going to get there around the same time. The Mersk actually beat him, which is crazy. I actually didn't want the Mersk to beat him because I wanted to actually see if the uh, guy Toro could finish it. But All right, so we got our company contract to finish there. Let's go now to Ambar Lee Lamani. And you can't take any of that stuff, huh? Oh, you can take textiles, though. So load that up. We want to, we want the full loads. That's what we really want to aim for. And actually, I want you to kind of fill up a little bit more. So let's get this guy then to Amber Uyulamani. And, uh... Interesting. Did you cast off? Oh, because we got the Mersk and Doc. So where's the Mersk gonna go? Why can't you take furniture? That's weird that we can't accept that. Um, we'll go to the world map here. Let's uh, advance some time. And then now let's go here. That was really interesting that we could not take that. We have 49 million euros. So I like that because you know what that means? We can get a Panamax ship as soon as the Alabama gets to its port. We will get a Panamax ship. So what I want to do here is I want to take chemicals and then I want to take all this stuff here to Hamburg. I think. Pretty sure I do. Pretty sure I want to, I want to go to Hamburg. I mean, I just want to load this guy up. I mean, just look at the money. But we want to go to Lisbon to get uh, some fuel. So that's why we are going to Lisbon. And we got well, plenty of time here. But this is going to be, look at that. Load that baby up. Let's cast off. And you can't get to Lisbon, huh? Yeah, you can. Go ahead, have power. Because I don't want to pay fuel prices. And there we are. And we are good. We are good here. Look at this. Let's dock the Alabama. Look at that. Two and a half million euros. That's what we call a nice trip. And we got the company contract over for there as well so we're at 52 million euros which i think is plenty of money to get our first panamax ship so what are we gonna do here we want tonnage i mean look at this if we go with this one this would be awesome look at this if we go 40 million it'd give us 3,000 tons 24 knots but it only give us 13 days of fuel that's not good though that's not good. This one gives us 2,700 tons, 18 knots, but 19 days of fuel. But this one gives us 17 days. I think this is the one we really want, I think. Because it's 5,000 tons. This is what we want. So that one's 49 million euros. This is what we're going to get. We're going to get the low range 8-2 Panamax ship. But we're going to try and save up some bit more money. So because we're going for 49 million euro um, ship, we're going to try and save up to 60 million. I want to give us that 10 million cushion because the more money we make, the more our investor takes from us. So that's what we're going to work on, guys. I'm going to do that off camera so that way we get up to our 60 million. And then the first thing that I do when we get back in the next episode is buy that Panamax ship. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.